stole the peacock's feathers. Someone's head at the octopus. Someone else striped the zebra. When there's a strange crime in the zoo, and you're looking for a clue, you'll always find him right on track. Sherlock Yak. Sherlock Yak. With Hermione right by his side. The bad guys just can't hide. If you get lost, he'll get you back. Sherlock Yak. All the dreams and all the dough. He's and mean, and he's no fool. And he's way double cool. He won't stand for no yakety yak. Sherlock Yak. I'm on the go. Will you find out before Sherlock? Who crushed the panda? Chef Panda's restaurant is by far the best in the zoo. Mm -hmm. I'll start my meal with cream of oats with chives, then some dandelion roots with ginger, and I'll finish with some lichen pancakes. <laughs> I've never met such a gourmet as you, Sherlock. Seems like the only thing you think about is eating. Not at all. Yes, I do have a good appetite, but I'm always in complete control. Thanks to my master ball of purity, I've been quite resistant to hunger. Young disciple, you've just spent a whole day without eating. How do you feel? <laughs> Perfect. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. The mind is stronger than the body, you know. I can stay alive several days without eating and drinking only water. No problem. Hmm? What is going on what now? What are you talking about? You gotta be kidding. Huh. <laughs> Calm down. Last night, a baobab branch fell down on top of the kitchen. What's a baobab? It's a tree, Gorilla. Well, ain't that a shame? The restaurant is closed until further notice. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'll eat some bananas. Uh, you're the zoo manager, Sherlock. You have to make a report about the accident. That's true, but... What about my lunch? I'm famished. <laughs> I thought you were extremely resistant to hunger. Hmm. You're right. I'll eat tonight or tomorrow. It doesn't matter. Duty calls. Let's go see what happened. The kitchen is this way. Follow me. <coughs> ah, ah, oh. You seem to have a bit of a flooring problem here. Yes, but we mostly have a big roof problem up there. By all the trees and all the zoos. I'll inspect the tree. Good idea, Hermione. I'll take care of the kitchen. <coughs> Good morning, Chef Panda. Mm. I'm here about the accident. Hmm. Well, there isn't much to say. The branch fell in the middle of the night. It broke everything in the kitchen and ruined my life forever. Come on now. Broken dishes can be replaced. The broken dishes aren't the problem. We were used to that with the hippo, our old dishwasher. He was a charming hmm. young man, but he was so clumsy that we had to get rid of him. We had to buy new dishes every week. The problem is my stove. It'll take me weeks to get a new one in. Cooking is my whole life. What am I going to do? Oh, don't worry now. My cuddly wuddly will take some time off. It'll do us a world of good. Sherlock, come hmm? and see this. The branch didn't just break by itself. It was sawed off. Good observation, Hermione. So this is not an accident at all, but a crime. Someone actually wanted to destroy your kitchen. Well, I'll be hogtied. Oh, my darling, let's go home. Sherlock will take care of everything. Hermione, let's investigate. <laughs> <laughs> oh ho! Interesting. <laughs> this way, Sherlock, look! <laughs> yes! I'll bet you anything this ladder and those holes are a perfect fit. <laughs> like my old master ball of purity would say, bingo! Looking at the ladder, the branch was cut by someone who was left-handed. Also note how deep the feet of the ladder sank into the ground. It's an interesting clue to see how heavy the culprit is. Hmm. I think it's time to interrogate the hippopotamus. Chef Panda's never hurt anyone. Who'd want to hurt him? This one's for you. Speedy Raccoon Sushi. You just order, it's already there. Ah, sushi. You thinking what I'm thinking? Of course. I'll take the menu with the California rolls and some Tibetan munchies. I'm talking about the suspects, Sherlock. Closing Chef Panda's restaurant is a real opportunity for the speedy raccoon. Well, you're right. Good deduction, Hermione. Mm, perfect. Let's go and question the hippopotamus. Then we'll take care of speedy raccoon. Sherlock! 
eh? These flowers are really beautiful. Mm. <laughs> well, sure, I was a little annoyed when Chef Panda fired me, but it gave me the opportunity to find my true passion, woodworking. I have a real gift for working with my hands. Let me show you. Oh. Huh? Thank you very much, Hippopotamus. I'll probably talk to you a little later. And now, Hermione, we're going to order some sushi. Are you that hungry? It looks like your mind isn't really controlling your body. That is not the question. By ordering sushi, the raccoon will come over to my house right away, and we can ask him all the questions. Yes, I think you're starving and you just don't want to admit it. That's not the least bit true. Ah. Chef Raccoon's kitchen was destroyed. What do I have to do with that? It's good news for your business, right? You get more customers that way. Hmm, you're accusing me of a crime? If that's the way it is, no sushi oh. for you! Ah. Oh. You should know that I don't need more customers. I've already got more customers than I need, so I won't say arigato! Oh, that speedy raccoon sure is touchy. Yeah, he could have left the sushi. Uh. <laughs> We brought you all together to go over exactly what happened. Mr. Hippopotamus is the only one missing. Here I am, coming! Let me do it, Sherlock. Uh -huh. oh. Thanks, Mrs. Panda. <laughs> hmm. From what I've just seen, you two weigh exactly the same. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> All right, let's replay what happened. Mr. Hippo and Mr. Raccoon, would you climb to the top of the ladder and saw a piece of the baobab? All right, enough time wasted. I've got a lot of sushi to deliver. I see you're left-handed. So what? That doesn't make me a criminal, does it? Hmm? Hmm. Chef Panda, where are you going? Sweetie Pie and I are gonna go off on a trip, so I'm gonna prepare a snack. <gasps> a picnic? Hermione, I trust you completely. I'll let you take care of the rest of the things. <gasps> there, can I go now? Not yet. We haven't done everything we need to. <sighs> There we are. Ah, my <laughs> hubby has prepared a little snack. So you're off on a holiday? Yes, it's a gastronomical cruise. My husband will get back all that weight he's lost over the last few years. Has he lost a lot of weight? If only you knew. The more successful the restaurant, the less he takes care of himself. Well, uh, I can't do it. Don't you know how to saw a branch? Well, with my right hand, it's really hard. I just can't do it this way. <laughs> All right, you can come down. You're not very good with tools, are you? Sure I am. It's my passion. Thought about knitting? That's when we opened the restaurant. It was just a little food stand. We had so many customers, we had to make the place bigger. Hmm. Here's the restaurant three years later. My husband still hadn't taken a holiday. Since we've had this restaurant, my husband feeds his customers, but he forgets to eat. Oh, poor Cuddly Wuddly. <laughs> It sure looks like you need some time off. Sherlock, this case is harder than I thought. I also think that the culprit is left-handed, but the hippo whose weight is right is right-handed, and the raccoon who's left-handed is too light. Unless a right-handed suspect used his left hand, or the left-handed suspect wore weights, oh, I just don't know. Your album, dear <gasps> Mrs. Panda. Thank you, Sherlock. Oh, I see you're left-handed. Yes, why is that? With investigations, every detail counts. Hermione, you've analyzed this case very well. And now I know who the culprit is. <gasps> All right, young detective. If you pay close attention, I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's go over the case. A mysterious criminal destroyed the panda's kitchen by sawing the branch of the baobab tree. We know that he's left-handed and that he weighs a lot. 
Is it the speedy raccoon, the hippopotamus, or someone else? The case is simple. Now, Speedy Raccoon, you could have destroyed Chef Panda's kitchen to steal his customers, but you're probably too light to be the criminal. <laughs> Hippopotamus, <laughs> Chef Panda fired you. You could have wanted to take revenge on him. However, you're right-handed, aren't you? <laughs> Besides you two, who does the crime benefit? By destroying Chef Panda's stove, the culprit forced the chef to take some time off. That's the true motive of the crime. Isn't that right, Mrs. Panda? Because the culprit is you! <gasps> Indeed, you're left-handed, and the same weight as the culprit. You're the one who saw that branch last night. Yes, it was me, I confess. <laughs> you, my sweetie pie? <gasps> oh, yes, you're exhausting yourself in that kitchen, so I had to find a way for you to take a break one way or another. <laughs> I don't hold it against you. You've always known what was best for me. You know that every crime deserves to be punished. The two of you are thrown out of the zoo. <gasps> <gasps> for the whole period of your holiday. <laughs> oh. That's right, you can't punish love. <laughs> you two just go. While you're away, I'll sort out the restaurant. Thanks, Sherlock. What can I do to thank you? Oh. Can I dare ask you for the recipe of your oat cream with chives? Ah. It's ready, let's see. Ah. <laughs> oh. mm. Sherlock, I thought you were particularly resistant when it came to food. I thought so too, Hermione, but don't worry, I've ordered you some sushi. 